Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 51. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at exploring our idle control that's mechanical based, where we use just our throttle plate to allow airflow into the engine, and we use spark timing feedback to regulate the engine's torque to reach a desired idle speed. We have a lot to cover and talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with a mechanical based idle control and programming within our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Now our mechanical based idle control is the most simplistic way we can dial in and control our idle. This assumes that you don't have an idle control motor connected or hooked up to the engine and you also aren't on drive-by wire type of throttle control. This will be a cable driven throttle body without an idle control motor. Now in this situation we need to essentially drive the engine to where we want it to idle at in terms of our idle speed. We do this by manipulating the engine's torque output. So at idle, you might find an engine puts out anywhere between, let's say, four to six pound-feet of torque on the low end, and on the high end, somewhere between 12 to 16 pound-feet of torque. So we'll have that around that range, regardless of whatever engine you're working with, and the more torque we make, the higher the idle speed, the less torque we make, the lower the idle speed. That's pretty simple in terms of um, understanding that concept of idle speed and torque. Now, what influences our engine torque output is going to be spark timing, airflow, and our fueling delivery to the engine. Now, let's talk about our fueling first because it usually has the least impact on our idle speed and the engine's torque output. If we're finding ourselves at 14.7 to one at idle, it's typical what we're shooting for at idle conditions for most engines, you'll find that the engine's torque output is kind of a medium or average in terms of what the air fuel can influence for the engine's torque output. If we go really rich, let's go to 10 to one air fuel, you'll lose engine torque. If we lean it out to something like 20 to one air fuel, you'll lose engine torque. But kind of in that range, 13 to 15 to one, you'll find the engine's torque output be relatively fixed and relatively consistent. So we're gonna assume at idle conditions, we're not changing the air fuel to influence our engine's torque output or influence our idle speed. What we're gonna be going after then is the other two variables that contribute and that affect our engine's torque output. And that's going to be airflow based and that's also going to be our spark timing. Both will have a significant contribution to the engine's torque output. Now, let's talk about our airflow. The airflow is going to be our course adjustment to our engine's torque output and ultimately to our idle control. Now, what we'll find is when we have no idle control motor, no drive-by wire, the only way we can really vary the amount of airflow coming into our engine would be actually moving our throttle plate. If we're at idle conditions, we're off the throttle. So that leaves us looking at the idle set screw that's gonna be on our throttle body. That set screw will open or close the throttle body and essentially act as a stop, allowing more or less airflow into the engine. Now that throttle stop can be turned down to the point where it's actually not meeting and engaging the throttle blade. And at that point, the throttle plate, throttle blade is as closed as as much as it's going to be. So that's gonna be the minimal amount of airflow. Well, we can turn it up from that using that set screw. Now what's nice about using the set screw is that it essentially brings a regulated or fixed amount of airflow into the engine. This can act as a course adjustment to our idle torque. And in fact, this is more of a slow moving course adjustment and it has more of an effect on the idle torque output than fueling or spark timing. So it's important when we're adjusting our throttle stop on our throttle body to always give a torque reserve and always actually have a little bit more airflow than what we need. That allows things like coming back into an idle with a light flywheel. We'll actually have a little bit more torque reserve so that the engine doesn't bog down and stall. Very, very important. Also on cold start conditions, if you have a little bit more torque reserve and we have a little bit more airflow that we need, we have the ability to potentially fire off the engine cold without having to push down on the throttle and keep the throttle plate opening, allowing more airflow into the engine so the engine can come up to operating temperature and then hold its own idle. So this idea of a torque reserve and airflow and our throttle stop is very, very important. And we'll talk about that as we go through here and programming some, some things within our idle control. Now what we're left with in terms of the last aspect of our idle torque output is going to be our spark timing. Now the spark timing is going to be a reactive way to control our idle speed, and it's gonna have a more fine resolution in control over idle speed than airflow. Airflow is our course adjustment, that's gonna be our, uh, our slow moving adjustment, 
and it's also a coarse or large change of adjustment, so it can have a big influence on the torque output and idle speed. But the spark timing is gonna be a dynamic and reactive and a finer control over our idle speed. We can instantly change our spark timing within fractions of a second here with our Haltech to drive up or down our engine's torque output and essentially drive up or down our idle speed to meet the desired program target. So when we're putting all the pieces of the puzzle together here, we're gonna have a fixed air fuel we're shooting for and delivering to our engine at idle. What we're left with is airflow and spark timing in terms of what we can actually control. The airflow is controlled through the throttle set screw, throttle body set screw on the throttle body, and we wanna have a little bit more airflow coming into the engine that we need, and we use the spark timing in order to adjust that torque output so that when we're in a condition at idle, for example. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.